One of the biggest questions that I get asked today is, is now the right time to buy a house? And for each person, that answer may be very different. Some of y'all, it may be, well, right now is not a great time, or yes, it's a perfect time. And so many of y'all over the last two years held off on buying a home because there was so much competition. And nowadays, with inflation at all-time highs, interest rates on the rise, and just basically everyday news telling you that the market is crashing. Well, to really dig into that, we need to look at here in Austin, Texas, and what exactly is happening here and not on a national scale. So as you're watching the news or reading it, the media has created this fear of the housing market coming to an end, crashing and burning. And the Fed has come out and said that they are purposely raising interest rates in order to help decrease some of the inflation that has been caused over the last previous two years. And if you look at Austin, Austin is very unique when it comes to the housing market. And there are several reasons why. And one of those is the job market here. And if we look at 2008 versus today, yes, there are some similarities. However, there are also some large differences, and we're going to jump into those, but you need to be informed on the local level and not necessarily the national level because it may change your mind on whether or not it's a good time to buy. So as I mentioned, one of the major factors that I look at on what the housing market's going to do here in Austin, Texas is the job market. And as we all know, there are a lot of major corporations moving their headquarters to Austin. You've got Samsung, Tesla, Facebook, Google. The list could go on and on and on. And we're still receiving 100 plus people a day in the Austin area. So Austin ranks as the best performing metro since the onset of the pandemic in February of 2020, adding nearly 100,000 jobs and a growth of 8.6%. Austin added 62,000 jobs with a growth of 5.3% in the 12 months ending in August, making the 13th best performing among the top 50 metros. Austin's leisure and hospitality industry in the, is the best performing industry over the past year, adding almost 16,000 jobs and a growth of 12.7% since August of 21. Now, Austin's seasonal adjusted unemployment rate is 2.8% in August improved from 2.9 in July. So what do all these numbers mean? Well, it means that Austin's job market is very healthy, which is why over 100 people a day are moving to the Austin area. There's a lot of opportunity, and I know what y'all are going to say next. Well, interest rates are astronomical. They're 7 plus percent. How do I afford it with the home prices being so high. Well, that is the benefit of right now and being in a healthy market where we have just over four months of inventory. And out of that four months, 20% of those have dropped their price in the last seven days. So what does that mean for you as a buyer? Well, it means that sellers are starting to understand that they're going to have to drop their price and they're not going to get what they were six, eight, nine months ago and getting to a realistic number. They're also offering some closing cost or rate buy downs, which help in your situation where the interest rate is higher. Now, let's look at whether or not it's a good idea to buy. And if you don't have reserves or if you don't have money set aside and you can't comfortably make your house payment, then now is not a great time for you to look at buying. Now, that's not to say you can't do it, but it's not a suggested practice that I or any other person would typically recommend to you. Now, if you do have reserves and you can make that monthly payment comfortably at the 7%, then what are you missing out on when there are opportunities out there to get a lower price on a home that you like and start building equity for yourself? So when you're looking at a local market here in Austin, Texas, there's a lot of determining factors that aren't necessarily showcased in a national spectrum 
across the news. And so the news, like I said at the very beginning, has us scared to death of what's going to happen. And it's not local. They're not telling you what's happening right here, right now. And if you look at the facts and you look at the data, I think that you will see that Austin is very unique. So like I said, each unique situation calls for a different answer. And not one answer is correct when looking at whether or not it's a good time to buy a home. But I can tell you that there are definitely reasons to purchase a home right now if you have the ability to. If you don't have the ability, put start putting that money away. Put it into the savings account and when the situation does arise and is correct for you, then you are ready to buy that home. So I hope that this information helps. If you have questions on it or if you're wondering should you buy or should you wait, hit me up in the comment section below. My email link's right below. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to find out the answer for yourself and whether or not that situation is correct for you. Hope all of y'all have a great day. If you want to check out this video up here, check it out. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all next time.